What's up guys, this is Beant with Extendly for High Level and I'm coming at you with another tip or trick here today. Today's tip or trick is how to add a coupon expiration date that is in future. So in this example, what we've done is we've set up a coupon that is for five days in the future. So from whatever date we send out the trigger out the message, it's going to expire dynamically five days from that mess, the date that message is sent out. Uh, one of my customers asked me this and I thought, why not build it out? And that was actually a great idea. And now that you can use the math operations in a uh, high level, it is actually possible before it wasn't possible. So watch closely, pay attention. Here's how, how it works. First, what you want to do is go ahead and create a custom field. So we've created a custom field. We've called it, we've called a coupon expiration date one. And then the next thing, what you want to do is add in a math operation. So just hit the plus sign, go to math operation, select a field as the current date, then go ahead and select add and change the days to number, number of days you want. So it could be 30 days, five days, 15 days, whatever you want. And then select the field that you want to update. In this case, we're going to update coupon expiration date one field and uh, go ahead and name this operation and then save action. I'm not going to save this because we already did that exact same thing right here. Here we go. So expires in five days and uh, we've up, we're updating this field. So uh, in, I went to test workflow and added myself in there and triggered this out and it uh, received a message that had an expiration date of five days in the future. So today here it is September 19th. 2022, the date of this recording. And here we go. This is a message I received 30% off, da 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 da. Uh, code is valid only till 22924, which is five days from today. It's the 19th today and it's going to expire on the 24th. The only comment I have for uh, high level uh, team is that if we can maybe format, allow us to format the date this goes into. So we can just say 924, the date in the month instead of the year, because that, that may not be necessary. Or do put in 924 uh, slash 2022 instead of the uh, the weird format uh, that the year is being used in the front. That's all. But it's super easy uh, if you want to update any sort of date. So here's another example. That was just one uh, coupon that we were updating. Say someone buys a subscription and you have or there's some sort of a warranty that you offer and you want to send out a message at the time the warranty expires. This is an important one because I've been asked this several times in the past. So all you do is create a warranty expiration date and uh, go ahead and uh, hit add and update the current date. And that add 12 months to it or 365 days, whatever you want. And uh, create your custom field uh, called a warranty expiration date. And from the date they purchase whatever it is that you're selling, it'll go into that workflow and the math operation will update that field. Now you can use that uh, that field to trigger off uh, warranty expiration messages, uh, things of that nature um, in the future. Let's say you wanted to tag, uh, not tag, but you wanted to uh, have a record of when a certain product was purchased. So you can create a field called date of purchase, let's say, right and then add, use the uh, select field as the current date and then you don't have to add anything to it just update field and boom add that to your workflow and now you've got the uh, the date that uh, product was purchased so you can go back and say okay this is the date you purchased uh, for example the subscription whatever that was right so that's how you do that uh, there's plenty of use cases for this but math operations that's that's what you use to update you want to you want to use this first and then any sort of messaging that you want to send out in there you want to use the custom field um, to enter the custom field you simply want to go into custom values contact custom fields and here are the two that i created coupon expiration date one coupon expiration date two we're going to use them in different manners, but uh, that's all you do. Select that and boom, your uh, date will populate there. And just be sure to have the uh, text appropriately formatted there. So it says uh, expiration date is or things of that nature. Well, there you go. If there's anything else that you'd like to know, another tip or trick that, that you would like us to record, please let us know in the comments and be sure to subscribe to this channel so you can learn more about high level in the future. Thanks. Take care.